Madam Speaker, the, the issue with car break-ins and car thefts has really plagued my community of late, especially since the pandemic. There's been a, a large spike, and it's very concerning. And um, some of those crimes are committed by adults, but some are committed by juveniles. And Madam Speaker, we have passed some legislation, as the a good chairman from the Judiciary Committee mentioned, to help address this issue. I do believe, though, that more needs to be done. And I believe that it's our state and this legislature's responsibility to look for further ways to help law enforcement improve the judiciary system, uh, help with rehabilitation and services for juveniles that commit crimes, uh, to put laws in place to deter them. I think there's some areas of this amendment that are good and could be helpful. And when I walked over here from my office in the LOB, listening to the good representative uh, recite the areas of this amendment, uh, my intent was most likely to support this amendment. But after listening to the debate and listening to the good chair of the Judiciary Committee talk about the possible unintended consequences from some of the areas in this amendment, uh, from, to talk about the, the areas that haven't been properly vetted, that could cause an increase in recidivism for juveniles, could cause more difficulty on their lives than actually help deter this crime and rehabilitate, rehabilitate them, um, I unfortunately am going to have to vote no on this amendment, even though I want to do more to help reduce the issue of car break-ins, uh, car thefts, and juvenile crime, and help my community. So, Madam Speaker, I do think there's a version of this amendment that I could possibly support in the future. Uh, I do think that it would be great to work with the Judiciary Committee Chairman, uh, the good representative, and others bipartisanly off session with advocates, with the Judiciary Branch, with law enforcement, get all around the table together and figure out what more we can do that will make sense, that will help our youth rather than, for, um, than hurt them and then come back next session and get something done together that passes and becomes law. 